Okay, here we're going to make some magnetic fibers now. All you need is a glue stick, a lighter, and the DIY magnetic powder we've been using. Instructions below. So, you'll also need a little surface you don't care too much about. I'm using this piece of, uh, of old flooring here. Now, to start, simply get your, your uh, glue stick burning. So, this is not exactly the best way to do this stuff. Uh, a, a proper vessel, heated, melting it down to a, a boil in the vessel is probably the better way to go. But I like to do things cheap and dirty, and I've got good ventilation in a corner room here, up nice and high. So, uh, don't try this at home, especially if you don't have very good ventilation. But uh, this is the easiest way to make a nice pile of molten glue stick. It's not very pure, and it's got some carbon in there from the burnt stuff, but it works real well. So we'll just get a nice pile going there. And then we're just going to mix in some of the DIY magnetic powder. And then we'll pull some fibers, and we'll get to that in a bit here. So I want a nice good pile at a nice roaring boil here. That should be good. Let it burn. And as it's burning, I'll get my powder ready. Try to grind it up as small as possible, otherwise you're going to have to mix it in more. And then pile it on. Now just mix it in. Try to keep it all in the center, don't try to spread it out too far. You want to keep a, a concentrated batch together takes a while to mix in there, and it's going to melt a little, or cool down a little, so you've got to work fast. Now that concentration might be a little high, actually. I might be going for a little bit too much gusto here, but let's give it a shot. And now, all you need is a piece of frayed wool of some kind. Uh, the more frayed, the better. And then just tap it down, and pull it up and you will get these fibers coming. Now it's still a little hot, so what I'll also do is I'm going to attach them off on the edge here, like so, as I make them. And then I'll pick a new part of the, of the fabric. These, that was not a very good run, it's got to cool a little more. So let's try another one here. Looks pretty good. One still pulling, wow, I got a nice long one out of that. And then I'll just take them over here. Sorry, it's off camera. You'll have to come see them in a bit. It just has to do with where my thing was and the way, direction the wind was blowing. So as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it here, we've got a nice long black fiber. Now when that cools down, we'll play with a magnet. We're going to try making a couple more while it's still cooling quickly here. Okay, this part of the fabric's too chunky. You need it nice and frayed so that the individual strands of wool catch the plastic and then pull it up in strands. Oh, I got a good pull out of that one. Still pulling, still pulling. Ooh, I think I got well over half a meter out of that one. Now, I've gotten much longer, but the more magnetic material you add, the harder it is to pull, so. Over here, as you can see, we've got a couple of these guys. And now as I'm, whoa, that guy's really reactive. So, as I move the magnet close, boom very reactive magnetic fibers. Now, what is a glue stick made of? That's a difficult question. They put all sorts of weird stuff in various brands of glue sticks. So, um, as for what kind of fiber you're dealing with, you got me. It's going to depend on exactly what brand you bought it and possibly even what location and what year you bought this stuff. Because they mix in all sorts of weird stuff to control the melting point and the crystallization point of this stuff. And it's also, it's a little sticky, so it can stick to itself, so you got to be careful with it. As you can see, it starts to bundle up real easy. You can usually pull them apart very delicately. They're quite delicate, the fibers, but they, they can be pulled apart. They're, they've got elasticity to them, and, um, and of course, they're magnetically reactive. So this is going to be some interesting components we can make with this, especially playing with water, as this stuff does deal with water relatively well. I have noticed it does not act very well as a sealant, actually unless you encase the entire unit. As a, a simple like glue stopping a, a small hole, it very quickly gives way, especially in electrolyzed water. So I'm not sure how well this exact material is going to work. It's really going to have to be played with. Maybe even some additives might be, have to be put in, or it might have to get coated afterwards with some kind of 
covering to protect it from its environment, but uh, I think it's going to work quite well.